Welcome to Monza, where the crowd are ready for today's action, and we hope you're ready to see the world's best drivers fighting it out for that number one spot. It's time for the Italian Grand Prix. With top speeds up to 215 and an average lap speed of around 155 miles per hour, Monza's reputation as one of the fastest circuits in the sport is well earned. We have 11 corners on this 3.6 mile track with the best overtaking chance coming into the heavy braking zone of the Turn 1 chicane. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And starting next to them is George Russell. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Sainz, Leclerc, Sergio Perez and Hamilton, Ocon, Norris, Fernando Alonso and Yuki Tsunoda, Gasly, Bottas, Mick Schumacher and Ricardo. Joe, Magnussen, Lance Stroll and Alex Albon. Latifi and Sebastian Vettel starts from the back of the grid. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. and it's fantastic to have you with us here. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. OK, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. concerns at the moment, just focus on the driving.
that front wing is going to need replacing if it takes too much damage. No tyre concerns at the moment, just focus on the driving. for the lead. Italian Grand Prix, an historic race and an achievement they could be immensely proud of. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? I really feel the track layout combined with the track temperatures we saw today suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently and it's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be so proud of the victory they've secured here.
Now, let's discuss.